Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my top drugstore slash affordable foundations. So I did a couple of weeks ago my top 10 high-end foundations. I don't have 10 drugstore foundations, but I do think I have seven, which is an annoying uneven number, but seven's supposed to be a lucky number, isn't it? I'm just going to go through, share with you guys my top drugstore foundations, why I like them. You know how these videos go, so let's just get started. So I'll start out with the one I'm wearing on my face today. I actually haven't worn this in a while and I forgot that I do really love it. It is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. So this is very affordable. LA Girl is like insanely cheap. I love their concealers as well. I really like this foundation. It's very full coverage, but it's very thin in consistency, I guess you'd say. You don't need a lot of product at all. I think I used too much today, so I had to like bring it down my neck. So I'm in the shade Natural. The only thing is that this shade is a little bit on the more orangey side. I tend to lean more towards like more yellowy kinds of foundations, but it is still a pretty good color match. I don't have fake tan on. I actually have a Bondi Sands like instant tanning spray just on my chest and my arms. Like everything else. Look how wide I am compared. Oh my goodness. That's my little secret. So it does match this quite well and I just really like the finish of it. I feel like it gives me very perfected airbrushed looking skin and I do find it to be pretty similar to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. It's not an exact dupe. I do probably prefer the Makeup Forever. I mean for an affordable foundation I, you really can't go wrong with this. The packaging is cute. It's got a pump, very standard but I, I do highly recommend this one. And also they do, I believe, come in like a big range of shades. Pretty sure when I bought this, I did see that they had a lot of shades for women and men of color, like deeper skin tones, which is amazing for drugstore because normally the drugstore is like, here's five foundation shades and that'll do the whole entire world. Go well, I go. You done good. The next one is probably my favorite drugstore foundation of all time. I think I would have to say. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I love the packaging of this. It is so luxe looking for a drugstore. It's a glass bottle, has a pump, and it's like got ombre, so the lid's black and then it's got ombre and then it just goes into clear glass and I just, I love it. So in this, I'm the shade 02 Natural. Oh, that was the shade natural in the other one too. Huh? What was that laugh? I'm actually running very, very low on this. I need to purchase another one because this is the ultimate full coverage drugstore foundation. So full coverage and it lasts so well. I actually wore this foundation on Christmas Day last year and in Australia, Christmas time is summertime and December is a really hot month. I wore this, it was so full coverage. I was outdoors most of the day and it lasted perfectly. Like I couldn't have asked for a better lasting, perfecting, amazing foundation. So it does say it's a concealer as well. So I mean, I guess you could skip out on concealer, but I personally don't. You all know I like my full coverage, so I still use a concealer. It just is one of those foundations that you can just grab. You know it's going to work. You know it's going to give you beautiful coverage. I like this with a brush or a sponge. It literally works amazingly both ways. I think everybody needs to try this. Everybody. Next up, we've got a foundation from NYX. I really love this. Obviously, I love these all. I love these all. Good English. So this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. It is a very small bottle. You only get 13ml in here, which does seem like a very small amount, but this is like pure pigment. It reminds me of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, except this is very like runny, liquidy, like very runny. You would think like, oh my gosh, this is going to give me like a tinted moisturizer finish, but it gives you such amazing coverage. It's like I said, just like pure pigment. So it's in the shade buff. It's like my perfect in-between shade when I'm not too, too tanned, but I can't wear it when I'm too pale either. It's just like my, my in-between color. 
and they do have quite a few colors of this I do believe I just find it gives me amazing coverage it's very quick to apply because it is so runny it just blends like like you just swipe and it's and it's done it's it's easy and I really like it and I do like the packaging it's like a frosted glass and obviously has the dropper bottle I feel like it's a medium to full coverage it's like a demi matte satin finish I would say it's definitely not dewy and it's definitely not too matte so they're the kinds of foundations I really like personally just like satin beautiful finishes so yeah I, I love this foundation another one of my all-time favorites is the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour breathable foundations this stuff is so good so 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 good like unbelievably good when I it first came out and I saw that it was called the breathable foundation I was thinking like oh it's gonna be really light coverage and mm, I'm probably not gonna like it so I took some samples home this is when I still worked at the pharmacy I loved it so much that I bought two colors I was just like this is amazing. It's so bloody good. I think this is best suited to drier to normal skin types. Combo could probably get away with it. You probably could even wear it when you're oily. Just wear like a mattifying base and then set it. It just gives me the most dewy, plump looking skin ever. I don't know how else to describe the way my skin looks when I wear this. It just looks plump and healthy and glowy. It just looks beautiful. It builds up amazingly. I generally do like one full layer. The packaging is the normal Rimmel packaging, but then it actually has a big doe foot applicator, which part of me likes and part of me doesn't. I feel like it's a little bit unsanitary, uh, unsanitary to be dipping and applying but I don't really get many pimples or you know that type of thing so I feel like my bacteria levels should not be that high this I will not stop watering and it's like lifting my lash off Ugh. it's a very very liquidy and runny formula it smells like a dream I love the smell of Rimmel foundations I've always loved the scent of them they all smell the same they have this like fresh cucumbery summery amazing scent I, I love it so it's like a little treat to put on your face so I've got two shades I've got 100 ivory for when I'm paler this is a bit more pinky undertoned I can still get away with it it still looks good when I apply it but this is my favorite color this is my more tan shade which is 200 soft beige it just matches me perfectly it's like a nice yellowy beige undertone so it says it's a medium coverage foundation and yeah I do agree with that so as I was saying before I do like one layer over my face then I go back in and do like a swipe with the doe foot over my cheeks my nose my forehead and my chin and just add an extra layer it builds up absolutely perfectly there is literally no problem with building it up at all it's affordable and it's just really really good I can't get enough of this stuff it honestly feels like it should be a high-end foundation but it's drugstore next up I have bourgeois healthy mix serum foundations I have three shades of this these are pretty old like I probably had them for too long but I won't get rid of them because they still look good and they don't do anything bad so I don't know so I've got shades 52 53 55 these I have loved for a very long time it's a gel formula foundation and it definitely does feel like a serumy gel when you apply it it's like it's fairly thick when you pump it out but once you start blending it it thins out and just gives you the most beautiful dewy finish <laughs> My dog just farted. I feel like I tasted that. So it gives you probably a light to medium coverage, which I feel like you can build this up to a full coverage though. I feel like it is able to be built up. I actually loved using this when I very first started my freelancing business and I was like getting accustomed to products and like what I should use on people. I used these on more mature clients and people with drier skin and it always looked so beautiful it didn't like settle into lines and make everything look cakey and kind of crusty and crumbly Ugh. it just made the skin look plump and dewy and I feel like plumps my favorite word plump plump so I have loved it for that but I also love it on myself 
I use this a lot during the winter time because my skin is like the Sahara Desert. So I do use it a lot during winter. I do use it a bit in summer, but I just make sure that I use kind of like a matte base and then I do set it with a powder because otherwise it will be too slippy and dewy and too much. Anyone with dry skin, anyone with mature skin, anyone with lines, I just think this works really well. It does say it's a 16 hour radiance boosting, even revived complexion. Well, it gives that. I love bourgeois foundations because they always have like plant extracts in them. It just says it's vitamin rich fruit therapy and it makes the foundation smell like so unbelievably good. I mean, if you don't like fragrance things, this might not be for you. Just smell it before you buy it. But personally, I'm like, I love this smell. I love applying it to my face and smelling it. it smells beautiful. I love it. Okay, next we have the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin Foundation. So this one is definitely a favorite of mine. Obviously, it's in the favorites video, but I feel like it's nothing to write home about and that might like sound contradictory, but it's one of those foundations that just does the job. It gives you coverage, it keeps you matte, and it makes everything look more even. And I do think it probably reduces pores maybe a little bit. It just gives you more of an airbrushed effect to your skin. I think that's how I would best describe it. But it's not something that I would put on my skin and go, oh my god, my skin looks amazing, I love this. It's one that I use when I know that I'm maybe going to get oily, I know that I just need it to last throughout the day, give me the coverage I need. In that respect, I do really like it, but it's not like the other foundations where I'm like, oh my gosh, it has this really great quality. It's not really like that, but it is still good. And they have actually just released like 40 shades of this, which is absolutely amazing. Before, I feel like they had like 12. So 40 shades is probably gonna do everybody. Like I feel like everyone can get something out of 40 shades. The one I have here is in 220 Natural Beige. It's my more tan shade and I really like the color of this. I don't like this packaging though, but I believe in America they have pumps. This one certainly doesn't. It's a pore bottle and just don't like these that much because I feel like I waste product. I always pour too much out, but I mean, for the price, it doesn't really matter. And then last of all, we have a L'Oreal foundation. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match foundation. This is like a cult favorite, I feel like, on YouTube. I feel like everyone's tried it and everyone does love it. My packaging is absolutely filthy. My lid is so dirty. So the shade I have here is called W2 Vanille, which is again my more tan shade. You guys will probably notice I have a lot of like more tanned foundations because I love fake tan and I love being tanned. So I always buy the tanned ones. This foundation, I, I don't feel like I have to say a lot because everybody knows that it's bloody good. It's thin but it is full coverage. You can you can do a medium coverage with it for sure, but I do like to build it up to a full coverage, definitely. I love this. It's, it's such good coverage, and the finish it gives my skin is very satin, and again, it's like a demi-matte foundation, I would say. So it gives you like a bit of a glow, but it isn't like to where you look like an oil sleek. So yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this besides that it is really good. I don't feel like the lasting power is amazing on this, but it still does last a fairly long amount of time. So even though it's not a super long lasting foundation, you still get a long wear out of it. And if you set it with powder, I feel like you can always make things work. Definitely, definitely love the, su the super match. Why? <laughs> Oh, definitely love the true match. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and maybe found a foundation that you would like to try. I think there are some really good ones in there. As you guys saw, I get pretty excited when I'm talking about something that I love. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not already. Come and join my little family over here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> what else do I say? In a Stephanie, the it's like a little. I'm sweating over here. Ooh.
Da -da -da -da. So yeah, I hope you eat. Let's air out these shirt flaps. <sighs> oh my god, Ollie. What is wrong with your bowels? That smells like death. I don't know what death smells like, but that's what I assume it smells like. I don't even know what I was saying. No, I got so distracted. Damn, boy. You stank. It... Fuck, I'm hot. I'm sweating in my elbow creases.